This is today's job for Dams and the gang. <laughs> what the? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Welcome to Dams TV. This is another conservatory. It's a Guardian warm roof. We're going to board the ceiling and skim it, dab the walls, and skim them as well. Uh, so today's job is just to board it, dab the walls, and then we'll go in on another job tomorrow. I'm back here Friday to finish off. Lovely, let's get cracking. Right, a bit of progress report. We boarded the roof, they've whipped the patio doors out. We're going to dab new boards on there. Dab some reveals on, dab all these walls. All that's boarded nice and bonny. Yeah. Come on, let's go. It's time for some dabbing. Right, we're all well on the way with the dabbing. These are I've dabbed them on. Liam's dabbed this. He's dabbed that and then got distracted and asked the, he's asked the customer what his finger pulse thing is. Let me see if I can show you properly. It's a good idea actually, quite interesting. So he's got different places. The right he's got the right miles from where we are. Hong Kong. I wonder if anyone can guess where we are from the finger post. I said, I wonder if anyone can guess where we are from the from the finger post. Yeah. Get on the comments and see where we are. Yeah. And he yeah, shouted it. Yeah. He shouted it. Miles from this. Miles from this spot. Do you want to be on? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all right with the camera. Yeah, I'll put my tea down. Three or four, there's only three or four people who'll see it. You can explain <laughs> it a bit. <laughs> so this was a bit of a lockdown project. Um, he's going to put Wigan on there because we're from Wigan. We have to try and guess where we are. I wonder if you got an atlas and drew lines. You should be able to work it out. You should be able to, you you should should be able to work it work out. Work out where all the lines intersect. That's oh. where you'll be. Well, that's the dabbing done. Hello, this is day two on this job. Um, went to do another job yesterday, so we split this one in two because that job couldn't move. So we went to do that, another conservatory, and we came back. That'll be on the channel. The one that come before this. So I think that's going to be an easier edit, edit that one. So I might edit that one then put this one on after. Um, we turned up and we're looking at it. I keep looking at it thinking, yeah, two mixes. And then I keep thinking, I can probably get it in one, you know. There's eight plaster boards. I know it's a bit fiddly. But once it's on, there's not a lot to look after. So I'm thinking of doing it in one. There's a couple of ways you can do it in one. You can have a rolling mix, which is mix one, and just lash it on. Mix one as much as you can mix in the bucket. Because we haven't got the big bucket. We had the big yellow bucket, which could possibly have mixed two bags and done it. Two bags would have done it. But we haven't got that, so we're going to have to mix in the gorilla tub, a new gorilla tub, because there was a hole in the other one. Um, launch it on and see how far it gets and then just mix what we need to finish the job, which is like a rolling gauge, what I like to call a rolling gauge. We could just launch it all on and then have a, mix, a bit for laying in, separate stuff. I don't want to do that really. We could have a filler, fill everything out, that takes a good half a bucket maybe, fill all the beads and all the tapes out and then have one. So I keep changing my mind. 
and I'm not still not decided on what to do, but I think I'm just going to mix one up to the top as much as we can get in, see how far it gets. Um, because I know I can look after that much quite easily on my own. So whatever's left, Liam can just mix up and put on himself and he should be able to help me if I need it. But once it's on and laid in, if Liam mixes what we're short, then um, I think that's the way to go, do you, Liam? Probably. Probably. Try to cheer up. <sighs> Not happy. Not happy, I mean. Nope. I'll be happy when I'm at home. Or in the pub. In the pub. Let's go down the pub. Right then. Just make fun to nuts. Nah. You're a prick. What? Fuck it. I'll, I'll ban you. Just cut the video. Right, here we go. Name's mixed up. I'm just starting to lash it on. We're just going to fill the tapes out, as always. Fill your tapes out. You get a better job. I sped the video footage up a bit so it's not as um, not as slow. So you can I can talk my way through it and show you what I'm doing. So try and get it nice and neat in there. Fill the top half out and then just fill the bottom in in a minute. Liam's supposed to be filling the bottoms in. He does do some faffing. Right, this one, you see it's been filled out with board adhesive. Well, so I've just buttered it. I'm just gonna bed the scrim on, stick it in like that. Cause it won't stick to board adhesive. It just keeps falling off. Right, I've filled out. And I'm lashing on, so lash a line through. And then you can work to it then. That's it, Demo. Tuck your lights in a bit, lad. Took them in air road. So once you've got your line through, you can then work your way to it from the sides. You get a bigger lick. It's not necessarily a bigger lick, but you get more on. You get it nice and even. Some more stuff. Back up, step aerobic style. So if you look, if you notice, I'm putting some on, and then I'm neatening it up. So I'll put two or three licks on in a row, and then I should, or I will, go back to it. Just go in and meet me up. <laughs> but I've not done. <laughs> Must have been neat enough. It was already neat that bit. <laughs> Use the toe of the trail. That's all you can do. Because the, the actual facet at the top is uh, too wide from the trail. Hey, nearly got a skin face on then. He won't be happy if he sees that. He'll be coming in morning. The face is on. Take my face off. Work my way around the facet at the 50p at the top. That wire is right in the way. Nightmare. You just gotta work your way around the matter get some on. So I'm putting the top half on and Liam's going to come round at the bottom. If you notice, he's still filling out the tapes. He's nearly finished. He's on the last lot now. Move the benches over so we can get a longer swoop down, a longer lick down the, down the ceiling. There's my bead. Put my, my rip of stuff on. So at this point, I'm just literally, it's all about just get a bit on the wall. So when you come down, 
when I come down from the top, I'll get a longer lick because I'll gather the stuff that I've just put on across. I'll just gather that up as I'm coming down and go in neat. So put on, come in neat. Neaten it up again. So it's a down and up stroke and then just go in neat. Go, if you go over it again, it just neatens it up. It gets rid of some of them herbables. See all them herbables there? If you go over it again, it gets rid of them. You don't have to get rid of them all at this point because you're only lashing on, but when you're laying in, the less of them, especially if the stuff starts going on you, the less herbables you've left, and the flatter it is, and the smoother it is, if it does start going on you for any reason, or for anything happens, you get stuff in your eye, or someone telephone call that just puts you five minutes behind, your stuff can start turning, and it helps you if you've not got them herbables in because you've been over it and flattened it, kind of flattening it as you're going, and then you lay down, by the time, if you do that when you've laid down, it's lovely and flat. It's also jobs done then. You're only going through the motions. I think I'll just show you the same bit again. Good bit of editing. <laughs> Staying in. <laughs> I hope you're liking the videos. They are try to be um, helpful but add a bit of fun see if you can see if anyone can guess in the comments where we are from all them finger posts the guy did in lockdown good idea actually anyway so that's everywhere the guy has been on holiday he worked out exactly where it was from his house and um, put it on that finger post in mileage so that's everywhere he's been so you can try and suss out where he is. Should really give a prize for the closest person, but I've only got 900 odd subscribers, so. Not really worth it, need some more subscribers. Right, back to the video, stop waffling day more. Same again at the top, just use your toe and come across. Shut up, Woody. What are the dogs barking at somebody going past? How long goes past the IT barks? Adjust my benches again. So I'm neatening up the top there. I've neatened up the uh, the angle. I must have caught it, so I've gone into neatening it up. Just a matter of trying to get it somewhat like first late ground. Bit of pressure on the heel of the trowel. more stuff. I'm on the last lick now, I'm on the last rip. So what I tend to do is, I'll go all the way around the top, I'll do the top and I'll take the top down as far as I can and let Liam come up to it. And then I'll judge whereabouts he is, where he's up to and I'll make my decision then from which side do I carry on putting the bottom on. So just to repeat that, put the top on and then I'll look where Liam's up to and I'll put a bottom on. Sometimes I don't have to, sometimes I do. But it's always important just to keep your eye on your apprentice, just to make sure that he's, you know, it's, it's easy for you to take the eye off the ball and before you know it, he's left something a bit rough and it's down on you, it's not, it's not his fault. He's still the apprentice, he's still learning. So here yeah, I'm T, I'm just judging. So I'm thinking to myself, he'll get them two facets on. I'll start on this third facet. And by the time he gets them two on, I'll have this bottom facet on and 
the right hand side bottom the right hand side of the bottom conservative piece on Good angle, but like you can see the actual lick of the trail and what I'm doing, I'm turning it in. So I'm just on the home stretch now, bringing the bottom in from this last side. Oh, look at that, I just dragged something up the wall. It's like a dry blob on the trail. I think I've just got it off. So I'm actually just keep going over it until it's sort of. It was like um, it was like an unmixed bit of plaster. So usually, if you just keep going over it, you'll sort of flatten it in, and it will go away. But sometimes, it like then it's stuck on the trail, so I just had to ping it off with my finger. Ideally, I should have got off and washed it, but I just tried to wing it, and it worked for that time. Sometimes, most of the time, you have to get off and wash the trail. So that's what we got on with the first bucket. So what I'm going to do now, that's on and laid down, so I'm going to troll it, Liam's going to mix up and put these on. But I'm just going to troll it first before I press the trigger. Before I tell them to actually mix, I'm going to go over and see if I can manage it. Because if it's going, we may as well give it a lick first and then let him mix up. Well, that's the ceiling done and all the walls finished off. Lovely job. Again, as always. We're just going to give it a quick brush up, or I should say Liam is. I'm just going to give it a quick brush up. Maybe clean that socket out would be helpful. Have you got a scraper, Lee? Oh, I've got it. All right. So it's always worth when you've done. Just take your time. Clean the sockets out. Keep the sparkies happy. You never know when you're going to need a sparky to do you a favour. Hmm, something's a bit dangerous poking around with that though. <laughs> Could have got a cheap frill on a Friday. Right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Look out for some more videos on how to plaster stuff. See you later.